Unemployment was the hot topic of discussion at the latest installment of the Gordon Rosenmeyer Forum at Central Lakes College. Clayton Castle brings us that story. Who is unemployed and why? That was the topic of a healthy discussion at the Gordon Rosenmeyer Forum at Central Lakes College as community members came out to learn and ask questions about unemployment in Crow Wing County, which is right around the state average. Crow Wing County's um, statistics are within a percentage point or two of the rest of the state as far as the statewide average. We're a percentage point or two above the statewide average. The whys were numerous and included housing costs, disability, lack of reliable or public transportation, child care, a record of felony convictions, and wages. But perhaps one of the most noteworthy is what's called adverse childhood experiences, or ACEs. The um, experiences that an individual would have during childhood that um, could, could, they could be carrying that trauma with them and that can prevent them from retaining employment. Crow Wing Energize has worked to provide resources for those who have experienced trauma in their childhood. So we rolled out an Attitude of Gratitude toolkit two years ago to um, promote resiliency and build up somebody's mental fitness, so to speak. And now this last um, Friday at our annual summit, we rolled out our sleep toolkit. A large part of the discussion was about ACEs and mental illness in general and why providing resources for those battling mental illness is important for both employee and employer. Well, having mental fitness or, or good mental health, so to speak, would mean that somebody is able to function, and whether that's if you're in school, um, being able to attend school daily, get your school work done, and same thing for work, being able to um, get to work on time, show up, be reliable, and then um, produce a good product. After the Great Recession in 2008 crippled the workforce in Crow Wing County, trends are showing that unemployment is going down and jobs are slowly but surely getting filled. Reporting in Brainerd, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. While issues with hiring and retention are still active, officials say the city of Brainerd is no longer the most unemployed city of its size in the state. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.